Hey everybody, today I wanna to show you how to customize your Procreate user interface. So in that way you can tailor it more so to your workflow and how you like to do things. So we're gonna go up here to the wrench icon and we're gonna go over to the preference tab. The very first thing here is the light interface. You can switch this on if you like a brighter interface. Um, I like to keep it off because it's less assaulting on my eyeballs. Uh, the next one down here is your right hand interface. If you switch that on, your brush and opacity slider are gonna switch over here to the right hand side. I am right-handed, but I like to have this switched off just because when I'm drawing with my right hand, I like to have my free hand, my left hand over here to be able to change all this stuff. So, I mean, this really is up to you which side you wanna do it. Play around with it and see what you like. This next one down here is the brush cursor. I like to have this on all the time just because it is useful to be able to see the little circle around your brush to see how large your brush size is. If you're trying to get in between a small gap, you can kind of know if you need to bring your brush size up or down. So next we're gonna skip down here to gesture controls. In here is where you have all these different options. You can customize all these different things. I'm gonna go through every single one of them quickly. So the first one is smudge. I have touch activate it right here. So if I wanna use my smudge tool, I can either go up here and select the smudge tool, or I could just use my finger to smudge my canvas, which I think is a really natural way to use that shortcut, that gesture control. You can also select your Apple Pencil. You could also use the little box down here in between your brush size slider and opacity to touch and hold and then use your finger or you can also use your Apple Pencil. So depending on your workflow, how you like to work, you can pick between these. I just find that touch is the most natural. Headed down here to Eraser, it's the same type of options. You can change them just like Smudge. I don't have any of these activated just because I just select my Eraser. Up next, Drawing Assist. You still have the same options. Add it with the double pencil tap and also just by tapping the little square in between your brush size slider and your opacity. I don't ever mess with this. I just go into the actual menu to use Drawing Assist and I actually physically turn it on. I never found it helpful to have a shortcut for that. Up next over here, we've got the eyedropper. If you don't know what the eyedropper is, it's used to select a specific color. So say you wanna use this blue right here, but you accidentally deleted it from your palette. All you have to do is press and hold and the eyedropper pops up and all you have to do is drag over the color you want, let go, and then all of a sudden you have that color selected. When you first download Procreate, I think in default, it is just this little box, you click on it and then the eyedropper pops up. But I find it's just a lot more natural to tap and hold and try to find it instead of clicking that button. So I changed it. Up next, we have Quick Shape. And Quick Shape is a really awesome way if you want to do a lot of things perfect in Procreate. So say I wanna draw a circle, but I'm really bad at circles. I draw it and I hold that shape. Now it snaps into an oval and I'm able to resize it and rotate it. If I want it to be a perfect shape, all I have to do is take my finger, hold it down and it becomes a perfect circle. You can do the same thing with triangles, squares, everything else you can really, uh, experiment with that and it really does help. It also helps with lines. So if you do a curved line, you can hold and you will get your perfect line. Same thing with straight lines as well. And you can also go up here to edit shape and you can re-edit those shapes. So I just have it as draw and hold and you can also change the delay at how long you have to hold the shape down for. So if you're one of those very slow drawers and you like to take your time, having it at a short delay isn't gonna be nice for you because it's always gonna be snapping to perfect shapes. So you can make that longer. I have it a little bit shorter, but none of these options really make very much sense to me when it comes to using quick shape. So mess around with them, see what you like the best. Up next, we have quick menu. Tapping on this, I have this activated as as tapping this square in between my brush slider and opacity and my quick menu pops up. These are fully customizable and super useful. My quick menu number one is new layer, copy, paste, cut, hue, saturation, and brightness, and add text. Those are my most used tools within Procreate, so I have them as my quick menu one. If you click here in the middle, you can make as many quick menus as you want by just pressing this plus sign, and then here go to your new menu, and now it has no action assigned to any of them. All you have to do is click and hold, and you're able to go through all of the different features within Procreate, and you're able to select actions for every single one of these. Super useful, 
You can play around with this all day long and customize all your quick menus. Next up, we've got full screen. I have mine as four finger tap. I never really ever use this, but if you want to get rid of all of your options up here, you take four fingers and go like that, it makes everything disappear. Four fingers again, it makes it come back. Next up is clear layer. What I have it activated as is scrub. I scrub back and forth with three fingers to clear the layer. So say I absolutely hate everything that is on this layer. I take three fingers and scrub back and forth and it deletes everything that's on that layer. Up next is copy and paste. I have it as three fingers swipe down. So then that way, if I have this layer selected right here, I wanna copy it. I take three fingers, swipe down and the copy and paste menu pops up. You can do it with a bunch of different things just like everything else. Up next is layer select. I don't have this activated just because it serves no use to me. And lastly is general. You can disable touch actions. So that means finger touches will only perform gestures. You could disable undo and redo. I don't know why you would ever want to do that. I have activated only here is rotate, pinch and zoom. So that means anytime I'm on my canvas, I can pinch and zoom and do all this. I also don't know why you wouldn't want to have that on. And then lastly is enable 3D painting with a finger. I never 3D paint, so I've never turned that on. And if you mess with all these and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what was default and what is the best to use, you can go right here to reset to defaults and it will take everything and put it right back to factory, which I'm not going to do. So that's all the different customizable options within Procreate. I think it's really cool how you can kind of customize your experience to how you naturally draw and create art. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope that you have a good day.